Welcome back, folks, to Card Station with your host, David Bayfield. And today we got some pretty big news from Ravensburger. They have now just announced today the new set name for the upcoming release of Larkana. And today we're just going to go over the website here on Polygon. They have it here saying Disney Larkana's next set into the Inklands as DuckTale characters in February. Locations, bits of narrative, and more new characters are on the way. And here we got a little image of the uh, Scrooge McDuck with his nephews. Now, just going to say, guys and gals, there is some spoilers here. So if there's anything you don't want to know, if you want to save for surprises, just... Uh, Maybe best just to avoid this altogether. And uh, we're just going to go over the details here. Here it's saying, Disney Larkana's third set of cards will be titled Into the Inklands and will debut at local game stores beginning February 23rd. Mass market retailers like Amazon Shop Disney will start selling them on March 8th. In addition to new mechanics, publisher Ravensburger is also adding new characters such as Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales and Kit Cloud Kicker from Tailspin. Now that was a cool one, I thought, because I used to love Tailspin when I was younger. I'd come home from school, and every day, we I'd always sit down with my brothers. We'd watch the old Tailspin and the DuckTales. I love the theme song for DuckTales. What do you guys think? I actually like hoping to see Gizmo, and uh, I can't wait to see Cloud, Kickster, Cloud Kicker. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. What are you guys looking forward to to see? Leave a comment down below. Into the Inklands continues the meta-narrative kicked off by Ravensburger when the game originally launched in August. At the launch of the first set, titled The First Chapter, it introduced the concept of using magical ink to bring to beloved Disney characters to life. Then its second set, titled Rise of the Floodborne, made it known that a mysterious overabundance of said ink was leading to problems, including super-powered characters and mysterious outfits like Night Cinderella. Love her. Now, Into the Inklands, with its Indiana Jones-inspired font, seems poised to explore the situation even further. Now, here they're showing off some of the cards, so we're just going to have a quick little gander here. We're seeing a Minnie Mouse. While this character is at a location, she gets plus two power. Uh, we got a cool piglet here, who's also a pirate. If you guys are looking to make pirate decks, I know a few fellas that like to make pirate decks that like to play around with it. While you have two or more other characters in play, this character gets two lore. And finally here, they're showing off a Peter Pan. Once per turn, when this character moves to a location, gain lore equal to that location's lore. So, some of the locations look like they're going to be bringing us some buffs, some bonuses, depending on who you have there and whatnot. And now it goes on to say, their quest may be more treacherous than they realize. Ravensburger said in a news release Wednesday, as an anonymous shadow storm has been spotted gathering at the edges of Larkana, adding urgency and mystery to the path ahead and here we see as they said the kind of the indiana jones style here the of the title into the Inklands. wednesday's news release also calls out the new location cards coming to the game which feature beloved disney story settings and offer players special abilities and interactions the first batch of locations will include motuni from wana my apologies i probably just butchered that one name and the jolly roger from peter pan among others that have yet to be announced each can open up new strategies Ravensburger added with some that give bonuses when characters visit them while others provide benefits just by being in play. So in one of our previous videos we did there, there was a leak and locations were mentioned and Ravensburger has confirmed it. Now they're starting to provide a little more information as to what that is all, how it's all going to work. Looking forward to that. And in addition to the after, after mentioned headliners from the Disney afternoon cartoons of the 90s, Disney Larkana is also adding Disney's Pluto and 101 Dalmatians Perdita. I probably didn't say that one right as well. As well as characters like Jim Hawkins from Treasure Planet. Now, I know there's some guys that are, they're loving, they love Treasure Planet. That was a huge, huge hit back in the day. But I think it kind of went under the radar. They do have a pretty big following. And I know there's people out there that are excited about that. So again, if you guys are excited about the new Treasure Planet reveal, leave a comment down below. And now we're just going to show off a couple of the cards here. So one of the cards that we're showing off today, seen it here on Facebook, it's called Forbidden Mountain. Now this one looks like it's going to cost two ink. And it looks like some of the buffs here, I'm not sure how that's going to work. They haven't released any of the details yet as to how this is going to play out with locations. But this one looks like it's going to give... Showing like six health, and I think that is a one attack, and it's going to give a lore. We're not 100% sure on how this is going to interact. It sounds like you can send characters there, so maybe they'll get extra defense, do extra attack damage, maybe while they're defending. And we also saw on Facebook here, we got some more images. We're seeing here, they're showing off the Moana. 
play mat. There's also a stitch play mat, it looks like, along with uh, Scrooge McDuck, looks like card. Uh, deck box, we got, what else do we got here? It looks like Scrooge McDuck deck, uh, deck sleeves. I believe that's tailspin box, deck box and sleeves. And we also have what looks like here a emerald and emerald, sorry, amber emerald starter deck with 101 Dalmatian and Peter Pan. And we got a ruby sapphire. I believe that's a tailspin and a duck Scrooge McDuck here. Looks like DuckTales on the box here. Starter decks. So we're going to get two more starter decks. They're not going to do the three like they did with the original set. I think some people are a little let down that the second set there, Floodborne, only got the two deck boxes. Or not, sorry, not two deck boxes. The two starter decks. Some people wanted to have the they were wondering why they didn't have another ruby emerald and there were some some people saying well they didn't want to do a second one maybe it's a balance issue or maybe they just want to let people uh, those two de starter decks was the best for the set and maybe this is how this goes uh what do you guys think would you like to have a third starter deck uh i think it'd be kind of cool personally myself what do you think you cool nay yay or nay with that leave a comment down below hit the thumbs up button and give us a like and subscribe and as soon as we find out more everyone we will let you know asap we want definitely want to keep that coming we don't want to we want to keep everyone in the loop we want to try to keep all this information coming out as soon as we find anything out we want to let you know and what else are you guys looking forward to in this new edition now it's showing looks like well i mean I don't think we're going to get an Indiana Jones. I don't think I don't know if he's owned by Disney, but I do like the Indiana Jones style title. That looks cool. I can't wait to see the DuckTales Gizmo, the the robot dude. He was one of my favorites as a kid, and uh, I can't wait to see what else we're going to get. I'm sure we're going to get the Bugle Boys. That'll be pretty awesome, and uh, I can't wait to see what kind of ability maybe their mother will have. She was always awesome, and uh, I'm sure there'll be some pretty cool interactions with that. So, again, what are you guys looking forward to? Are you excited? Uh, have you gotten out of Lorcana and looking to get back in? Now might be a good time once we start getting those the third set released. There seems to be more cards in circulation. Have you had any luck now getting any cards? Please leave a comment down below and let us know, and we will keep you in the know as well. And please, again, hit the thumbs up button, give us a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more news.